Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, we'll talk about two things. First thing is the importance of ROS when it comes to robotics. And second of all, we'll try to install ROS on our systems if you are convinced. So the first thing is importance of ROS. I have five different points which actually proves a point why do we even need ROS. So the first point is being most generic. That means ROS has almost all kinds of packages that you will need for your specific custom robot. Be it a biped, be it a quadcopter, it can be a submarine, it can be just a robotic arm as well. But it will have its own packages which will support you, make you feel comfortable with your robot and you can actually control them much better. Plus, it also has the support where you can actually use Python or you can use C++ or you can combine them both to get the output. That is how ROS helps other developers to com communicate between each other. Two platforms coming together, that too like Python and C++, is a great thing. Second point is simulation tools. Now ROS has very powerful simulation tools. For quadcopters, it has a different tool. For bipeds, it has a different tool. For robotic arm, it has a different tool. All the tools are interrelated and helps you understand your robot much better. So third point is lightweight. ROS is approximately 200 MBs currently. That means any system which can hold 200 MBs and has good enough processing power to process the things that you want to process in for a custom robot, it will actually hold. That means a Raspberry 3 Plus or a 3 or maybe 4 which has come recently would actually support ROS very well. You just have to customize your kernel a little bit and tweak a little bit here and there to give ROS its own space to expand. Fourth point is the compatibility with other robots. So nowadays, since 10 years, ROS has come into the market which is more into industrial. So ROS is not well maintained platform. But as in when you go, as in when you take the ownership and start building your own packages onto it and start testing them, it is a very good platform to make multiple robots communicate with each other and have one robot intelligent enough to autonomously walk from one point to the other or fly from one point to the other. That becomes a big challenge. That was a big challenge like 10 years back but now ROS has made it easier for us. So fifth and the final point but not the least is a permissive license. So ROS works on BSD format or BSD license. That means you don't have to have extensive license agreements or it's a very minimal license agreement if you want to have to redistribute your software and use ROS in your systems or your robots. So that is the five points which makes ROS very special and better than any other platforms currently for robotics. So now if you're convinced enough that your robot needs ROS to become better, let's try installing ROS in your system and see how it goes. I have installed Ubuntu 18.04. People say that ROS cannot be installed in 18.04. That is not true. That is why we have ROS Melodic. ROS Melodic has been made to be compatible with Ubuntu 18.04, which is Bionic. To start installing ROS, let's go to their official website and check what they have given. Just search for ROS install melody and we'll go to ROS wiki. Here you can see ROS Melodic is compatible with Bionic, which is Ubuntu 18.04. And before installing, do remember, open up your terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and go back to home. If you don't do this, you'll face problem while building the projects. Don't forget, after this, you have to connect our system to ROS.org and start getting data. To do that, first let's tell the system that we have to connect to ROS Cloud. Enter your password and done. Now you have to connect to the server with a specific generated key. This particular command will generate a key for our data transaction. Now, we'll just update our system to whatever changes that we have done in basic transaction of data. This might take a while.
to that, there are multiple versions of ROS which you can install. The first one has ROS. It has 2D and 3D simulators and 2D and 3D perception. This is what you'll be needing when it comes to ROS navigation stack and also robotic arms. So let's install this one. This might take a while again. If you have already installed, it'll be faster. Then just install ROS dependencies, which will be used to create your workspace. Then update your ROS dependency. After it is over, let's create an environmental setup where every time your system boots, it connects to the source file of the ROS so that as soon as you run a ROS file, it just knows it is a ROS file and you don't have to mention it every time. To do that, copy this command and, open, and run it in your terminal. And this pass RC file starts every time you boot up your system. So now this becomes our source file. Now, just install the basic dependencies you might need for ROS essentials. This is an optional option. And you are good to go. You have successfully installed ROS. Just to check if the ROS is working fine or not in your system, close everything. Open up terminal again. And just write ROS code. Now this initializes your ROS and shows you that everything is just working fine. If you have any doubts, if you have any questions, or if you have any problems installing ROS in your system, do let me know in the comment section below. You can also mail me at themegatronicsolutions at gmail.com and let me know the problem you are facing. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. I hope this video helped you install ROS in your system faster. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.